All right. Good morning, everyone. Uh, last month, Bloomberg News reported that Oregon has the best performing economy in the country. While we've always known we live in a special place, the secret has clearly gotten out. Not because of mysterious economic forces beyond our control or outside state lines. Rather, it's because Oregonians show the love we have for our home by giving a little piece of ourselves back to Oregon and every single thing that we do. Entrepreneurs who believe their products truly add value to people's lives. Investors who give back to their communities by supporting underserved business owners who may not otherwise have a shot. And champions who are so proud of our state, they tell the world about the great products we produce. This all fosters an economy that encourages growth and attracts talent. When it came to employment, personal income, and the equity of its publicly traded companies, little old Oregon is leading the pack. For investors, Bloomberg called Oregon a superior bet. Now, on the heels of this historic momentum, it's my priority to ensure every corner of the state benefits from our progress, and it is also better prepared for the economic whims of the future. This is best done by increasing the ways for state government to add value to Oregon's overall economic enterprise, not creating more red tape for small businesses to navigate. Today, we're putting pen to paper in a couple of ways. I just convened the first meeting of the Small Business Advisory Cabinet. This group of nine have volunteered their time and perspective on helping me understand how state government can help small businesses grow. I convened this group to discuss this goal in a very focused way. I'd uh, like to introduce members. Uh, we have Mitch Doherty here of Built Oregon in Portland, uh, Celeste Edmond, CEO of Lunar Logic in Eugene, Stephen Green of Elevate Capital and Albina Community Bank. Stephen, yay. Uh, Stuart Phillips of Red Wagon Creamery in Eugene. Um, Representative Greg Smith of Hepner. He had to leave? Okay. And Representative David Gomberg of Otis. So, uh, not here today, uh, but participating in the group are Jamie Danik of Hum Kombucha in Bend, and uh, Rosa Martinez, owner of PMG Abatement and Demolition in Portland, and Kanth Galpapur, uh, who is the incoming chair of b the uh, Business Oregon Commission. Uh, I obviously realize that there are a variety of issues small business owners are concerned about. But I have asked the cabinet to develop recommendations based on three areas, uh, issues regarding access to capital, and we just spent the last hour and could probably spend the whole day uh, talking about that. Uh, secondly, the state's role in promoting entrepreneurship and the mentorship of entrepreneurs. And third, regulatory challenges that are specific to small businesses. Uh, we are hoping that the cabinet will deliver these recommendations to me by uh, mid-October uh, so that the ideas can be used uh, and considered for the 2017 legislative session. Uh, we are also here this morning to celebrate the signing of Senate Bill 1583. Uh, this was one of my priority bills for the 2016 session. The bill expands the Office of Small Business Assistance to help small businesses across the state navigate both state and local policies and procedures. Uh, Secretary of State Atkins is here to tell you more about the Office of Small Business Assistance and the great work uh, the advocate does to uh, uh, help uh, entrepreneurs when they are interacting with state government. But as I like to say, uh, the advocate is charged with cutting red tape uh, to get small businesses into the black. This work, uh, coupled with the real world work real-world perspective of the Small Business Advisory Cabinet moves us closer to a vision that we share for Oregon. Healthy, vibrant communities that enable our businesses to grow and thrive in every single corner of the state. Uh, now I'm very pleased to introduce uh, Secretary of State Gene Atkins.
Thank you. I want to thank the governor for initiating um, Senate Bill 1583 as part of her agenda for the 2016 session. This bill is going to allow our Office of Small Business Assistance to expand uh, its purview so that it can act more thoroughly as a facilitator between small businesses and local governments and to provide recommendations for change that it has so successfully done with state agencies. I want to rec recognize our corporation director Dr. Peter Threlkel, Oregon small business advocate Ruth Miles, and Jorge Avias, the small business assistant. This is the team that, uh, that, that uh, makes up the small business assistance office, and we're going to be adding staff um, in order to be able to take on uh, some of this new responsibility. I'll thank them all for their work that they do helping businesses across the state, and I'm pleased that Ruth is going to be participating in the governor's discussions with small business. I know that will help inform not only the governor's policy agenda, but the workings of our current program moving forward. As you probably all know, the, under the leadership of then Secretary of State Brown, the Office of Small Business Assistance was created by the legislature just three years ago in 2013 to facilitate interactions between small businesses and state agencies. The office also reviews and investigates small business concerns about interactions with state agencies. We're very proud of the work of the Office of Small Business and of the Advocate. Along with the services operate, uh, offered by our corporation division, our recently completed 2015 report, which is available on our website or, or at, on request, shows that we are really reaching the right people and providing quality services to help businesses prosper. The office helped 219 small businesses and nonprofits with 100 or fewer employers in 2015, which was a 56% increase over 2014. They helped business owners with state regulatory issues ranging from licensing to procurement. The small business owners, as the governor recognized, are, are innovators, they're our job creators, and they've been instrumental to our state's in economic recovery. So I'm looking forward to the work we'll do to help Oregon small businesses this year and beyond. The work of the Office of Small Business Assistance, along with the governor's small business advisory cabinet, will provide us with the next innovative ideas for helping Oregon businesses grow and thrive. So let's sign the bill, Governor. <laughs> Like getting close. <laughs> like really close. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like creepy close. You guys ready and back? Unfortunately, this time we have no red wagon creamery for us oh. to celebrate oh. with. Stewart. 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 <laughs> there we go. Congratulations. Yay. Yay. <laughs> Thank you all very much. Thank you, Slash.